In this video, we are going to be covering um, how to paste, cut, copy, delete. We're going to touch on some undo and redo features. And this is pretty much common knowledge for anyone who currently owns an iPad, but maybe you did not grow up with a computer and you don't know this stuff. This video is for you. So if you already know what the differences between cut and copy and delete are, then you can probably just go ahead and skip this video. Don't waste your time watching it because you're already going to know all of this stuff. And we're also going to talk about how these functions affect your, what I like to call the invisible clipboard. And you'll see the clipboard reference throughout all types of device instructions or features or different applications. You can actually even see the clipboard icon referenced on your virtual keyboard here. If you'll notice, there is uh, an icon for scissors, that's for cut. This is for copy, so that's essentially like duplicating something. And then here you have the paste function. And you'll notice here, behind the paper, there is a clipboard. That's what that is, and that's what that icon means. So essentially, the clipboard is something that you cannot see. But in my mind, whenever I cut or copy something, in my mind, I can imagine this clipboard, and I kind of already know what I've cut or copied last, and I know that that's going to be sitting right there on my clipboard for me to paste wherever I need to. So the clipboard is not something that you can see. It's more of something that is conceptual and you have to keep that in your mind whenever you're cutting or copying something. Whenever you cut or copy something, and we're gonna go over the difference between both of those here in just a minute, but whenever you cut or copy something, it's going to stay on your clipboard until it is one, replaced by something else, or two, until your device is restarted. You have to know that your whatever's on your clipboard is going to be replaced in either one of those scenarios. And I do have some little icons here or some little stickers here down in underneath the clipboard. And we're going to go ahead in GoodNotes and select the lasso tool. Now essentially the lasso tool is just a selection tool. So what we're going to do with the Apple Pencil is lasso this popsicle here and then tap on the screen and you get a context menu. If your options are properly selected within the lasso tool. So if you'll notice, I didn't get the proper context menu and that's because I did not have images selected in my lasso tool. So I'm gonna go into my lasso tool and make sure images are on. And now I'm gonna lasso again and then tap and now I get a context menu. And on that context menu, there is the option to cut, copy, or delete. Now if I cut this, it's going to remove it from the screen. And what's happening invisibly is that the item, the popsicle in this case, has been copied to our clipboard. So whenever we're, we go to paste something, it's going to paste that popsicle over and over again. So that's how you cut an image from a screen and notice it removes it from its original location. Now, if you want to cut some text, you're going to select the text box tool. And let's say we want to cut these words invisible clipboard. You're going to highlight the text and then tap cut from the context menu and that removes it from your screen. And what you don't know is happening behind the scenes if you haven't known what cutting does before this video, it's going to replace the popsicle. And now what has replaced the popsicle is the text that we cut, which is which was the term invisible clipboard. So what's the difference between cut and copy? So whenever you copy something, let's select this blue star here and tap on it, and we're going to copy it. So when you copy something, it remains in place. It does not, it is not removed from its original location. So since this is the next thing that we copied, what's gonna happen behind the scenes and kind of in your mind 
is that term invisible clipboard that we cut earlier is going to be replaced by this blue star that we copied. So now anytime we use that paste function and wherever we use it, it's going to paste that blue star. And the way I'm pasting is I have that lasso tool selected. And in this instance, I'm tapping and holding with my finger. That context menu pops up and then I tap paste. Or I can tap and hold with my Apple Pencil and then tap paste. I'm going to hit that undo button to get rid of all those. And the same thing with text. So in this case, let's copy the word lasso. I'm going to select my text tool and then click edit. And then from, I'm going to highlight it. And then from the context menu, I'm going to tap copy. Okay. So notice the copy function left that text in place. It did not remove it from that paragraph. So then we're going to come over here and I'm going to show you what happened without us um, actually seeing it happen. Behind the scenes, what has happened is the blue star has been replaced by the word lasso. So that's what's on our clipboard currently. And anytime I have the selection tool or the text tool selected and I tap and hold on my screen and I tap paste, it's going to continuously paste the word lasso because that's what's on our clipboard currently. Okay, so let me get rid of those three pasted lassos. Next up, we have delete. So the difference between delete and cut. When you delete an item, it is it does not replace what is on the clipboard. And you can delete a couple of different ways. You could delete with the lasso tool. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And let's delete this piece of pizza down here. And I'm going to lasso it and tap and then tap delete from the context menu. And it is removed from the screen and it does not replace that term that we cut earlier or sorry, we copied earlier when we were going over the copy function. So the, the term lasso stays on the clipboard and that piece of pizza is gone. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna prove it to you. Let's go ahead and tap and hold and paste. And you'll see lasso is still the term, the text that is on that clipboard. And that's what will continue to be pasted over and over again if you continue to use that paste function. And the reason I wanted to go over the undo and redo buttons is because the only way to get back a deleted item, so say we wanted to get back that piece of pizza, the only way to do that is going to be to use the undo button. So the only way to get that pizza back is going to be to use the undo buttons, or you can also use the keyboard shortcut, which is Command Z, and that undoes. It does the same thing as tapping the undo button. There's also another way to do undo, and that is going to be to swipe with three fingers, three fingers touching your screen and swipe to the left. And then to redo something, you are going to tap with three fingers and swipe to the right. So that takes a little bit of practice, um, but once you, I rarely do that, but once you get the hang of it, it gets easier. Once you get a little practice in, that does get easier. Another way you can do it is there is the two finger tap. So that will undo something. And then you can redo something by using the button at the top or by swiping with three fingers. As you can see, I'm not very good at the three finger thing. <laughs> I usually use the buttons at the top or uh, the two finger tap just to undo stuff because I rarely redo stuff. And just to show you some keyboard shortcuts, um, you, you don't do it with the on-screen keyboard, you do it with a physical keyboard connected by Bluetooth to your iPad. So the way that you can see your shortcuts is if you uh, press down on the command button, which is right here on your keyboard, and you just tap and hold that on your physical keyboard, and you'll get a list of keyboard shortcuts. And 
it shows you right here that if you hit Control or sorry Command Z, that that's going to undo. And then if you hit Shift Command Z, that's going to redo. So what that means is you you hold tap and hold this button, or you press and hold this button, and then you hit Z at the same time, and that's going to undo. And then if you hit Command Shift Z at the same time, that is going to redo. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that. See if we can get that pizza back and forth. So I'm going to do Command Z, and then I'm going to do Shift Command Z, and you'll see it takes you all the way through all of your steps. If you'll watch here, we'll get that pizza back eventually, and then we can get rid of it again by tapping the Redo keyboard shortcut. And there is actually one more way. If you uh, tap with three fingers and you do not swipe, but you just tap with three fingers, you also get a context menu with undo and redo that come up at the top. And you also get that context menu that has a uh, paste on it. So still, if you remember that word, uh, the text lasso is still on our keyboard from when we copied it. That's what I'll get pasted over and over again. So just a very quick recap. What happens with the cut function is that it is removed from the screen and in your mind, you should have that item that you have cut on your invisible clipboard in your mind or also known as the device's memory. So you just kind of have to know in your mind that that's what's happening behind the scenes on your device, whatever device you may be using. And if you copy something, it is going to replace whatever is on your clipboard. And that item also remains in its original place. And then if you delete something, let's delete this ice cream cone. It is removed from the screen and it does not replace what is ever, whatever is on your clipboard. And remember, the only way to get back a deleted item is to tap that undo button. So if you've always been a little bit confused as to what these icons do on your virtual keyboard, now you know. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Brooke and I make digital planners and notebooks. You can find my online shop at brookbot.com. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big old thumbs up by tapping that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can bring you more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.